sun. Why is this Alright, Warden down. Oh, good shit. That's recharged. The yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was a primary hit. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Phenom. Yep. On Phenom. Both my shields are down. On Phenom effective. Effective on Phenom still. But I'm probably going to go down if Enzo keeps getting shots on me like that. Almost got Phenom down. He's being squirrely. Trying to string He's us down. Out. Oh, I lost a wing. Stay alive, I'm, stay alive, I'm, stay alive, stay alive. I'm just gonna drift. I'm just going drift. Disengage if you have to. Disengaged. Actually, I'm gonna sh Oh, okay. Kinda worked, actually. I was able to hit him. I'm on him. His shields are down. Effective. This is yours. I'm, I'm, I'm ineffective. You can't do good buck back there. Get out of there, Wedge. <laughs> you know good back there. <laughs> Just wobbling. Just sitting here wobbling in space. Yeah, got it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Avenger stream. Today we are talking about something extremely important. Today we're talking about boost. So... Aside from this being a 2v2, we're not going to break down the tactical situation of the fight, but I'm pretty sure after watching the video here, you can figure out that it's uh, not rocket science. Focus the one guy down, get the numbers advantage, and win. However, I want to go deep. I want to go deep on boost because I think it's a thing that most people take for granted. Most people don't utilize effectively. And also I find a lot of times people are boosting too much and in the wrong places. So first of all, we need to understand, well, what is boost, right? Now boost is obviously that extra little bit of acceleration that you're gonna push to your Mav thrusters or your mains. And it's done from the hotkey that actually does your boost, right? I have mine set to my trigger on my left hand. So as I boost into the turns with my left trigger, then I get myself into the spot I want, right? Boost is not to be used consistently. And that's a big thing that people need to understand. Boost is limited use only. Because once you run out of boost, the first person in a fight that runs out of boost dies. Because once you run out of boost, you lose your ability to evade fire effectively within, obviously, within a 1v1 setting for sure. But if you blow all your boost, um, you become exceptionally easier to kill. Now, if you put 100% power to engines, you'll notice that the boost becomes more efficient. So you'll get about 20 to 30% more boost efficiency if you have all power into engines, which is definitely something that you want to consider if you're planning on being evasive against an enemy target, right? A lot of times it's normally in your best interest to stay power into shields because you get that extra bit of resistance profile and once your shields are down, then you switch into full engines, make yourself as evasive as possible. But I'll be honest and say that recently I've noticed that putting power into engines while I enter a fight is actually I find a lot of cases working out to be better because when you hold your boost down, you become more accurate. The ship's jerk profile becomes smoother, more snappy, more responsive. And this is due to the fact that more power is being fed to your thrusters, which means it takes less time to accelerate them up to the speeds that you're looking for. In turn, making your ship more responsive, becoming a smoother, faster, snappier aiming platform, allowing you to actually get more applied damage. And we all know that more applied damage equals faster kills. Okay. So I'm sure you're probably thinking now, okay, Avenger, we get it. We know what boost is, which is great. How do we use it? What's the tips? What, what are we doing wrong and how do we utilize this properly? Well, long story short, you want to always boost the minimum required boost necessary to get out of the enemy cone of fire. So take Phenom, for example, right? We're coming in on a nice lazy corkscrew here, trying to take a few trailing shots. I'm getting receiving incoming damage. So right now what's going to happen is as I pull this corner, I'm going to boost right here. 
push, 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 boost up. You can see my boost kind of going down and he matches my position. I move again, right? He's moving, I'm matching, boost here, change my angle and then let go of boost, right? Now he's on me, now he's on me, boost, push away, let go of boost, right? Now he's tracking me, tracking, boost, push away. And again, right, I'm always pushing from my bottom thrusters. Bottom thrusters give you the power. So that's where you wanna push off of. You don't wanna boost with your left and right unless you're in a certain type of pattern, which we can go into later. What you always wanna do is get yourself in that position where you can boost. Like right here, we're kind of in a nice little circle strafe. I'm kind of moving my pip onto him. And now that I'm receiving fire, now I wanna boost into a bit of a corkscrew, change my angle. And what you gotta to realize too, guys, is you don't have to boost a lot. You just need to boost enough to create a deflection angle that's large enough to shake the shot, right? And you always wanna keep yourself nice and smooth because if you can stay smooth, stay on target. Shooting your opponent down is the safest bet because any time that you can engage your target, the, the best way to keep yourself safe is to take away any kind of incoming fire, right? The best defense is a very, very strong offense, right? So always maintain sight picture. Remember, I had a video come out called ACE or Aim, Counter, Maneuver, Evade, right? It's all the same principles here, right? So we always want to boost just enough to get ourselves away from harm and keep ourselves in a pattern, right? Again, with our bottom thrusters, what we're going to do is we come into this turn here using our bottom thrusters to cut around the angle so we stay close. And once I notice, oh, I'm getting engaged, I'll push a little bit up there with some boost. Now he's matched me. I don't like my position. I'm going to roll hard, boost, push across his nose here. And again, right, these are textbook S turns, textbook X S turns right here, pushing over. You can see my vector indicator pushes over just enough. And I start to roll the other way. And right here again, pushing up a little bit more. Now he's getting a little closer. I don't like my position, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold that angle, keep that boost pressed, stay nice and tight and obviously get the kill. Shoot, boost, move, shoot boost, move in that order, right? Get your sight picture. If you notice that he's teeing up on you, push across, then push across, then push across again, right? It's always a dance. It's always a dance of target time versus evasion, right? But you never, ever, ever, ever want to sacrifice time on target for going full evasive unless you intend on dis disconnecting or disengaging entirely from the fight, okay? So there you have it, guys. There's my tips on boost. Remember, boost and move, boost and move. And again, don't use it unless you need to, right? You want to save as much boost as you possibly can. Understand that you can be more efficient if you put it into full engines. Understand that you're looking at the nose of your enemy. You're waiting for those, the, you know, those shots to start incoming. And once those shots start incoming, push, skirt, move, move around. Keep changing your position. Never stay static and never sacrifice your time on target. Always move with your bottom thrusters, roll into your turns, into your shots, and also into your maneuvering changes, and you will win your fights. Guys, that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for all the love and support, guys. I really wish I could express it, man. I love making these videos, and I love teaching, and I love just being part of this experience. The Star Citizen Flight Combat model right now is obviously going through some changes, and as the changes come out, we will make videos, we will talk about the changes. So be part of the discussion be part of the community. Let's try to have a healthy, positive conversation about this. Let's try to be better as a community because I think the game deserves it. And I think for all the hundreds of thousands of pilots who've yet to play the game, I think they deserve it as well, right? So let's do the best we can to have the conversations now, to have the conversations effectively and to do it responsibly and ethically and also just maturely. There's been a lot of hate thrown on some of the comments on YouTube, which I'm sure some of you guys have seen. And that's just the way life is. There's always going to be people out there that will look at the negative. But you know what? The choice is theirs. My choice is not to focus on the negative. I'm obviously not a perfect person. I mean, everyone has negative times, right? But, you know, we can do better. We can be better, right? So let's let's keep kicking at the cat boys let's keep getting one percent better every day 
All right, guys, take a look at Predator mounts if you're interested in getting a mounting system for your joysticks. They're the ones I use. I find them to be absolutely fantastic. Use the code AVENGER1 for a discount if you're interested in getting them. And I hope to see all your smiling faces out for stream and on the next YouTube video. Thank you so much. I was Avenger1, and I'll see you next time.